Hi everyone, so I'm back again. Um, I'm here to talk about your skin, skin issues. Um, I'm gonna start from the beginning to the end. Um, with my first kidney failure, I did not experience any of these skin symptoms. Um, only the butterfly rash and my face would swell. And that was the first time I ever experienced the skin rash. And, and also when I was first diagnosed, I, I used to have like a little rash, but it wasn't like these. It looked at more like eczema or psoriasis. And that's how they misdiagnosed me when I was first diagnosed. So that situation is out the way. The first kidney failure, it didn't cause me to have skin issues. Now the second one, from me getting into a car accident, the beginning of 2016, it caused me my kidneys to for me to be so stressed out because I was working in school, you know, taking care of my grandparents that were elderly. And um, then my grandfather ended up passing the cancer and um, the accident, I never recuperated from it. So I like I started gaining weight. I started, um, and then I after the accident, I chose to go get a tattoo. So I went, you guys, and got this tattoo. And the first, when he first started doing the top layer, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt at all. And when he went back, I was like, ooh, ooh, it's kind of burning a little bit every time you put the line on it. But it wasn't that, oh, I'm dying burn. So I let him finish. He was like, are you on blood thinners? I was like, yeah, I'm on blood thinners. He was like, if you're on blood thinners, you're not supposed to be getting tattoos while you're on the blood thinner. I didn't know that. So I let him finish the tattoo. Days, maybe two weeks passed by. The tattoo never closed. So now I'm sitting here with a tattoo that'll peel, bleed, heal, peel again, bleed, heal. It lasted for about a year. Then my doctor um, told me that I would have to do um, rituximab chemotherapy. So I started to do that type of therapy and um, my skin became very fragile. I, I would go outside and easily get sunburned. I'll think, oh, it's just a sunburn. I'm gonna put something on it later. It's gonna go away. No, it never went away. So I ended up um, starting to get the rash on my face. It was right here at first, and then it expanded to like right here, and then it went all over to right here, as you can see in my pictures. During that time, you guys, I didn't put nothing, nothing on my face, not makeup, not perfume products, not lotion. The most you'll catch me doing is with vitamin E and like people were also sending me products to try that they actually had. Like they had a lady and let girls find, go on Instagram, like Michelle So Blessed Hands and then you got, I'm gonna go over some of these people products that ship their stuff to me and I'm gonna show you why I use their products because it was so good. Okay, um, they also have a place called Country, um, it's a hair, I gotta find all these bottles, y'all, because I want y'all to really see um, that I didn't um, get myself completely healed on my own. I had yo, you guys help, Instagram help, so um, this is a product that I would recommend. It's called Hemp, it's called this, so it's Acura Hemp Seed, it's Hydrating Organic Skincare Oil. This is good to go on your skin. Okay, that's one good product. This is why it's open. You can use vitamin E on your skin while it's open. Okay, and here's another thing that helped me, you guys. I will put the vitamin E, or I will put this, and then I will put the cream that my doctor prescribed me. So the vitamin E and everything was working first, and I just used their cream and stuff to just lock that in, and my skin actually started to heal. Okay, and around this time, I'm gonna be honest with you, I still was not using sunscreen because when I put the sunscreen on, it will burn. So then um, another good product is the black seed oil. This is also, and some of these products, you guys, will be on Amazon for you to sit here and buy. This is black seed oil. You can put this on your skin, bathe in it, everything, lovely. Um, what else did I use? Uh, vitamin E, like I told you guys, and it's Spring Valley Vitamin E from Walmart. Okay, that's the brand that I use. Okay, then, okay, let's go to the products now. Okay, so this is from Rags, and this is Body Butter Boutique. And you can find them on Instagram. You guys, look how much comes in this container. Okay, and it smells lovely. And I, be I believe that, oh, it smells so good. I believe that you can actually, 
use products like these on your skin because these people are naturally natural made products. This one contains mango butter, coconut oil, lavender, essential oil, lang lang or essential oil and other, you know, other oil that I can't pronounce, but um, her name is Donna. So look up Rags Boutique and she should, she should have this one, body butter. She has sheer butter. Um, I also got this sheer butter from somebody and I wish that their their Instagram was on this but sheer butter while your skin is flared up it worked good and awesome for me also so use that one stop taking baths in all hot water okay while you're in a flare up and your skin is open do not take hot baths because you know what it just opened it even more and it just caused even more complications you guys I used to and please please listen to me because I used to sleep with a big towel underneath me due to the fact that my skin was so open that it would get attached to the sheet or the cover and then when I'm peeling back it'll gush out bleeding okay I had these bad moments I had blood clots coming out of my skin my lips my arm I had blisters for no reason I had pus coming out of eye areas I had abscess on everything including my vagina and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that because this is part of the skin issue also so then I also got this Moyo Touch of Shea. It's Touch of Shea on Instagram. And this is also stuff that you can moisturize yourself with. You guys, this is a good part. Of. I know that somebody else, she sent me like a moisturizer Shea butter with lemongrass in it. I'm trying to find it. That one smells and it's awesome. Okay, I use everybody products on my skin. I'm going to be honest, anything that, that's natural and organic. I will use it, okay? And okay, so your hair growth process. Michelle Blessed Hands has a good product, you guys. Not only do I, but she also has a good product. Okay, so this is, I think this is um, the sheer butter that she sent me, but she has this hair uh, moisturizer, you guys, that I use on my head, and it's phenomenal. I mean, it'll help your hair grow. These are all her products, and her name on Instagram is Michelle Blessed Hands. Okay, so let's get to talking about skin. Um, a lot of women DM me about what to do. I prefer with, if your skin is flared up, try to try to avoid the heat peak hours or when the sun come up because um, th these medications that you're taking it makes your skin sensitive to the UV ray lights that's in the atmosphere, whether it's your lights in your house or the lights from the sun. They have a way to where you could go to a different specific store, maybe a Home Depot, and buy the ones without them. And you could actually have them on. But literally, in my house, this is how I deal with it. Lights off, okay? Lights off. All the time. I sit in the dark and watch TV. Um, I'm uh, The only time you catch me outside is due to doctor's appointments or any social events. I, um, I get extremely tired quick and I know everybody understand that has lupus okay so this is another condition that I mean situation that I'm talking about with your skin ladies and don't lie and say you don't have it your vagina swells it peels like a newborn baby between your legs because it's a closed moist area I had it trust me I know my vagina was so swollen to where nothing could be inserted or out like not even a tampon for your period nothing could do none of it, not even have sex with my husband. And this lasted for about a two to three month span. So I have a good husband, you guys, who doesn't um, make sex the main point of our priority in our relationship. We have way more than that. So my vagina was so swollen, I would have to lay a towel down between my legs and fluid would seep through my skin and my skin would peel. When I peel, it would burn. And fluid would just be sitting right there to where I looked like I had a, a extra coochie or a booty in the front. You know, I looked like I had a booty do. It looked like my stomach and my and my, my coochie stuck out more than my booty do. So, ladies, I'm telling you, put yourself first. What triggers our lupus? Stress. What triggers our lupus? Overdoing ourselves. What triggers our lupus? Not putting yourself first. You are beautiful. You are unique, you are kind, you are soft-hearted. People with these autoimmune diseases, any autoimmune disease, they become very soft-hearted. Um, before I got diagnosed with this disease, I was very careless about things. I wasn't careless about people's feelings, I cared about people's feelings. And that's what caused me to stress out and get sick. 
because I'm gonna care about people for this. I care what people say about me. But um, if you're in that boat to where you're working two jobs or you're working multiple jobs and um, you get tired, trust me, your body is sending you signals. It's sending you signals that, hey, I'm tired. You need to sleep. Hey, I'm sorry you might need to call off today. Hey, I'm sorry you might can't glow a class today. All my classes for college are either online or overnight at night. That's it. I would be in class, literally, you guys, I would get out of class at 10.30 at night due to the fact that I did not want my skin to be affected in Texas by the heat. Out here, we get at least 100 and, um, I, it would say it's 97, but it feels like 104. Or it will say it'll be 98 and it'll feel like 114. And literally, it does. It feels like you're suffocating, you know? Texas got dry heat. It don't have humidity heat. So that's, that's what's a little worse on our condition. The thing that I like about Texas is not polluted, so the air is actually cleaner. Um, I'm from New Orleans, and we have so many power plants, and the power plants are next to our local apartments, or our local houses, or our local even businesses of where we shop at. A power plant will be sitting right smack on the side of it, and it's just pollution to everybody that lives around it, and it causes cancer. I'm being honest. The older you get, it'll cause problems with your health staying around a polluted area. So, you guys, um, when my skin started to heal, that's when I started using products that still was not scented. Nothing, nothing. Don't try to use any Victoria's Secret soap on your coochie. Don't try to use any type of Bath and Body Works soap. Don't try to use anything that has a strong scent in it to bathe your body with. Now, um, even when I'm using the bathroom, I don't use tissues. <laughs> and people can laugh at me if you want. I use flushable wipes, okay? I'm the type of person, I can't sit there and make a bowel movement and use tissue. It's not me, I still don't feel clean. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I carry one in my purse anytime I'm on my cycle, okay? It don't have a scent or anything to it. It won't burn when you use them. Stop using the, um, the summer, summer Z. Don't even use Summer Z too. You got coochie problems, don't use that either, okay? You use everything that's non-scented and essential to you that would not, and it, it's a trial and error phase. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because some things that work for you won't work for me, and some things that work for me won't work for you, okay? And then I'm gonna leave it at this. When my skin is healed, I do um, certain treatments, and I'm gonna start opening up just like I'm opening up now. So you guys about noticing what you can and cannot put on your face. Aloe vera plant, lovely. Put that on your face. I usually do it. I cut up the aloe vera plant. I'll take an avocado, scoop it, and stir it, mix it in with the avocado, um, with the um, aloe vera plant, and I'll put it on my face. And when my skin is healed, old school, I use Noxzema. It's like a tingling sensation. I only leave it on for a few minutes and then wipe it off. But your skin feels completely clean. It'll take out every. It's a deep clean. So I do it like once a week or once every two weeks on my skin. Um, so ladies just know it's possible to have these lesions come on and off. It doesn't, um, helping, okay, so cut out all soda products. Because when you're eating soda products and sugars, you become very dehydrated. Your skin starts to crack. Your skin cracks very bad to where your skin will rip open, okay? We suffer with bad skin dealing with it. eczema, psoriasis, lupus. It's like we could bump into something and there go a bruise. Or we'll bump into something and there go, oh, we're bleeding. Don't even know what we got the bruise or what we bleed from or how did we cut ourselves. Our skin is just that sensitive. So sometimes I wear outfits that'll make me fit me. So like I'm in the house, I'm wearing this, I'm chilling. And, and when I go outside, you might catch me in a hoodie, long sleeve, joggy pants. I look like I'm a hobo. I don't care. I'm comfortable with myself. I love myself. I feel like I'm beautiful like this. I don't need to be wearing makeup 24-7, 365. So, ladies, the first steps into achieving of how to have that confidence with having a skin condition, you have to deal with yourself, okay? Self-love plays a big part. Dealing with yourself and the way you love yourself will bring you more happiness than anything because if you don't love yourself, nobody else will around you will love you. They would not want to be bothered with you. Um, because they'll be like, oh, she's always depressed. But it's honestly understandable why we're depressed in our eyes. And anybody that has a family member that suffers with an autoimmune disease, they understand to a certain extent of what can and can't happen or what the bipolar tendencies that we have is for a reason. 
you're going to get looked at. Okay? I want to tell you guys that off that. You're going to get looked at like you look disgusting. You're going to get looked at like you're contagious. You're going to get looked at like this. It's up to you to build that confidence within yourself to say, hey, I don't care what they say. Hey, I love myself. Hey, I am important. I am somebody. And I stand up for myself and I speak for myself. Hey, I am beautiful even though I have all these marks. Hey, I can achieve everything else everybody achieving, even with the skin conditions that I do have. I'm not perfect. Yes, I know that. I'm not better than the next person. I know that also. But I am human. And I am beautiful in every way. Okay? That's the first step. The second step is learning trial and error with yourself. It's you getting to know your body within yourself. And it might take you a while. It took me for about a year to do all this. You got to learn yourself. You got to become one with yourself. You got to be like, oh, my stomach hurting. My loop is telling me that I better chill out. I can't eat that. Because now I'm in the moment to where I'll eat something and I'll eat two scoops of it and my stomach will turn upside down. And I'll be like, babe, you can have it. I can't eat it. So ladies and gentlemen, everything that you do essentially what lupus affects you. You have to make the right decisions at the right time. And it's hard to make them if you don't know your body or you don't know yourself. So that's my first steps and those are the products that I actually use in my skin ladies. Otherwise, I'm bare faced like this. Like right now, I have nothing on my face. I didn't moisturize it. I didn't put anything on it. And when I do put any something on it, it will most likely be this. These products that people send me. So if you catch somebody that's a black boutique that's posting, oh I sell shea butter and bad bones, girl, hit them up. Cause let me tell you something, they legit. They natural products, they're legit, I'm telling you. So everybody hit up Michelle Bless Hands, okay? Everybody hit up Rats Butter, they're legit too. And then I'm gonna try to find this lady Instagram that sent me the lemongrass, I'm gonna promote her too. These natural products are the best products for our skin. Um, eventually when you start to get better with your health, I, um, Try to moisturize your body with the, the hemp lotion. Um, try to moisturize it with the shea butter and other products. I mean, I mean, anything that's non scented should help. Wash yourself with black soap. Like, they had ladies that used to make shea butter soap for me also to bathe with. I started to bathe in lukewarm water with oatmeal, Epsom salt, and all these oils within it, like olive oil, coconut oil, black castor oil all that so if you take your hair product oil and put it in your tub it'll work too trust me you soak for 15 minutes okay my skin it, it, it took me a while to get to this condition you guys it was not easy it took a lot of sleep a lot of medication to be taken on time like at a point in time when i was going through the phase of getting my health together i literally slept for like a whole week i would wake up just to use a bathroom and eat and go back to sleep Sometimes your body with lupus or any condition needs to shut down like that. So I hope um, this helped y'all. And any any more questions you have, I sit there and I, I read it and get an eyesight and I, and I plan on making a video on it. I do. So the next video will be about um, anything y'all want. Like somebody want me to do couples um, and how my husband um, benefits me and helps me out in our marriage. And there's a lot because I help him out too. And y'all will learn about the pros and the cons of having... Um, a person with the autoimmune disease. Yes, he, he wasn't perfect at first. Yes, he did just be. Yes, he thought it wasn't serious until he saw how it was and saw how serious it was. So, I hope this helped you and I hope to help you in the near future. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day.